Hiya, I just wanted to give you a quick reminder how to do queries in Access. So when you've opened up your Access database, you're going to create and you're going to use query design. Once you get this uh, window up, you'll see that from our flat file database, the lettings database, you've only got one table. So you're going to add that table and then close the window. To get all the fields appearing in your grid, you double click on the name of the table here. When everything goes pink, just drag it down into the first column and you'll see all the fields across the bottom. Now, just remind you, when you've done a query, you're gonna run and then you want to add more criteria to it, you view. So run and then design view. So we're going to do a query which is going to find all the flats in the database. So design view, and I'm going to be using the description field. So underneath description, in the criteria row, you just type flat. And then you're going to run that query and only the flats are selected. Now I want to have a flat which has got um, at least three bedrooms. So I'm going to add another bit of my query in, in the beds uh, field. So in the beds field, I'm going to ask to have greater than two bedrooms and run that again. And I've got a choice of two flats. So then I can save it. Now we talked about uh, naming conventions. So we start with QRY which is a prefix, uh, prefix, and then it's flats. And when you're naming that object, you're going to use a camel case. So the first letter of each of the words up in uppercase and the rest in lowercase and no spaces. And then you can see that object appearing over there. Right, so I'm going to send you some homework to do a couple of queries on the database. When you are finished creating them, make sure you name them correctly. And then when you have finished with the database, you're going to give it a new name. So you know you're using the right version. So if you did your queries on the 22nd, for example, you're just going to change that to 22nd of September so we know that's the latest version of your database. Then you're going to make sure that's back in the college user area um, and make sure that's back before your next lesson. Good luck.